So I've been following this guy for quite some time now. For those who don't know, this is Akihiko Kondo, and he's officially married to Hatsune Miku. Back in 2006, he was a civil worker who was bullied to the point where it affected his life in a negative way, which resulted him in developing insomnia, as well as an eating disorder. That's when Hatsune Miku came into the picture. At some point, he came across Miku and her music, which he claims saved him. Eventually, they got married in 2018, and to this day, they're still happily married. I know a lot of people are going to say this dude is cringe, but I disagree. To me, I feel like this guy is very misunderstood. I feel like all the events that led up to this point make sense. Anyone that's worked any type of job has likely stumbled upon shitty co-workers at some point in their life. It puts you in a conundrum where you don't want to deal with their bullshit, but you also need to make money, which is why so many people hate their fucking jobs. It's not surprising how a toxic work environment affected this guy's mental and physical health. With how shitty the world can be, can you really blame the guy for trying to find some form of escape? And for many, Hatsune Miku is just that. She is one of the most iconic mascots in Japanese media, and that's because so much of her music is very magical and uplifting. It's why she's universally loved by so many people. And for Akihiko, Miku was his lord and savior. I know a lot of people are going to say this guy is cringe for liking fictional characters, but I disagree. I see nothing wrong with that. For me, I've met a lot of shitty people in my life. People who took advantage of me, emotionally manipulated me, people who were condescending assholes who made me feel like I was worthless, being betrayed by fake friends, I've seen it all. So I'm a firm believer that not everyone deserves to be loved, and that some fictional characters deserve far more love than some people you meet in real life. Like if my worst enemy and a Hatsune Miku body pillow was hanging off a cliff and I could only save one of them, I would easily pick the body pillow without a second thought. My worst enemy can kiss my ass and eat shit for all I care, because unlike them, Hatsune Miku is actually cool and makes me happy. So yeah, I see nothing wrong with liking fictional characters. Sure, it's parasocial, but it's not hurting anybody. There are worse coping mechanisms out there, like drugs, alcohol, gambling, or simply being depressed at home all day. Honestly, I have far more respect for people like Akihiko than people who resort to this terrible shit, because unlike them, Akihiko actually put in the effort to better his life without harming himself or others. If Miku is what brings this guy long-term joy and happiness, then who's to judge how he lives his life? It's his life and no one else's. Another thing I respect about Akihiko is how much he cares for Miku. I don't know about you, but if I had a partner, I would want them to love and treat me the same way this guy treats Miku. He dedicates his time for her and talks about how grateful he is to have her in his life. If that's not true love, I don't know what is. This man has more love and compassion in his soul than some couples will ever have in their lifetime. People may find him cringe, but to me, I see nothing but an absolute giga chad, and that's why I fully support Akihiko. Him and Miku have my blessings, and I hope they live a long, happy life together. Alright, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and sub to the channel. Who knows, maybe you'll find a partner who will treat you right. I'd right, see ya.